Shati. Thank you for joining me today on Luminosity TV. Come a little closer. Let's have a conversation. Or oh, are you busy? I thought I should ask because you know what? We're in a very busy world these days, aren't we? Everything seems to be moving very fast. Everyone seems to be busy doing something. We're all in a hurry. We're in a race against time. But where are we going? In which direction are we heading? Are you busy or are you being? When you're busy, you can be busy doing anything and everything. But when you're being, it's different. It's a more conscious living. Our natural state of being is love, peace, harmony, and joyful activities. And that is what we should be busy with. That's why we're called human beings, not human busy. <laughs> so are you allowing yourself to be present, to show up and be here? Are your feet firmly placed on the ground so that you have a goal, you have an intention, you know where you're going, you know what to do to get there. You know when you're veering off that path and when you're heading in the right direction and you're in that state of being through joyful activities or are you just all over the place in the name of being busy? Yes, we all like to feel busy. It gives us the impression that we're getting things done. I'm so busy. There's not enough hours in the day for me. I've got to do this and I've got to do that. I'm just so busy. I don't have time. So that busyness makes us think that we are living, that we are alive. We have to fill up our days with things to do, activities that would help distract us. Because if we just sit still quietly in one place for a little bit, the mind would want to have a serious conversation. It would want to remind us what we really should be doing. And that's a conversation that most of us are not ready for. So instead, we fill up our days with things to do and we give off this impression of being very busy. <laughs> but and if we just have a few spare hours, for instance, to reflect, that's when we remember, oh, I have that series that I, <laughs> I have that series that I need to catch up on and we then spend more time getting distracted and before we know it it's time to go to bed it's time to sleep as my dear friend would say most people don't even go to bed they just fall asleep they, they don't go to sleep <laughs> we then wake up and we repeat the cycle again and again we are such busy people so that we find ourselves even comparing each other. Oh, look at Mrs. A. She's always so busy doing something. She's very active, as we say. And there, Mrs. B. Oh, she's so quiet, so idle with nothing to do. And we're irritated by that. We think that any kind of busy is better. But let's bring it back to the simple. Let's allow it to marinate. Because that is our ego mind. It's convinced itself that if it's not doing something, then it's lazy, it's idle, it's not worthy, or no one's going to remember you. You have to put yourself out there daily and hourly. Let them see that you're busy. Stop it already. When you intuit it, you'll realize that it is not in the busy. It is in the activities that you are busy with. Let me just say that again, because they say, if you say something twice, it will sink in. It's not in the busyness of your day. It is in the, in the activity of your day that makes you show up present, alive, and feel fulfilled. In other words, the things that you do that bring fulfillment and benefit to your soul. So much so that when you are doing them, when you start doing them, you feel instant joy. Whilst you're doing them, you feel more joy. And when you're done with them, oh, you feel alive. You feel fulfilled. Now, how many of us can mentally record the number of activities we engage in daily that has us feeling fulfilled and joyful, that doesn't drain our energy but replenish it, that doesn't diminish us but uplift us? Think about it. Even that catch-up TV that we get onto before we go to bed. If you're like me and it happens to be an action movie, <laughs> by the time that you're done watching the, all the shooting scenes with the guns and all of that, 
my heart is palpitating and my blood pressure has probably gone up. So where's my joy? Where's the joy in sitting down and watching that action movie? <laughs> so here's my take on it. Don't be afraid to be not busy. Don't be afraid to say, I'm not busy today. What can I help you with? Because in our so-called busyness, we forget about others. And sometimes we completely forget about ourselves. So we are somewhere in the middle, we're in limbo, like that hamster in a cage that's just going round and round in circles, but not really achieving much. So don't be afraid to sit still, to be in quietude, to wait for guidance, to wait for the right moment before being busy. Doing does not mean achieving. Busy does not mean success. So that when you take stock at the end of the day of what you did or what you accomplished in your, in your very busy life, <laughs> ask yourself truthfully, did I bring any benefit to my soul or to the soul of those around me? Did I truly find value in doing that? Or did I just do it to be busy doing something or to be seen as doing something? So you find that with a lot of people, there's too much going on and not a lot going in. In here becomes empty and yet out there is busy. What are the activities we can engage in that bring something in that would make us feel happy with them? Joyful activities, not just any activity to keep busy. When we are conscious of this, we'll start to see that our true nature shines, it radiates from within when we engage in this type of activities. And we don't need the spotlight so much. We don't need to act busy. It's the ego that makes us think that, oh, I've got to be seen as doing something. You know, it would, they would think I'm lazy. <laughs> so you have to ask yourself, am I just feeding my ego? And is it time to stop? And when you do that, this will get you vibrating differently and you'll be more composed, more patient, rather than claiming to be busy. And you'll see how easily the next chapter of your life will suddenly unfold before you, and you can walk into it confidently. There's value in being patient and in waiting for guidance. So whilst you're on that busy road, find some time to slow down and to take stock, and then ask yourself, what is my stuck worth? When you are not just busy, but you are living in that state of being, being present and being valuable, then your stock goes up. Is your stock going up like petrol prices? <laughs> is it up and down like the Bitcoin? <laughs> or is it crashing like the Naira or the Russian currency? <laughs> My Nigerian friends will get upset with me for this. So let's allow that ego rest in all that busyness we claim to be. Let's start living in a state of being, which is love, peace, and harmony, and joyful activity. Because whether we know it or not, this is where fulfillment lies. So until next time, I wish you joy in whatever activities you engage in. Take good care of yourself and bye for now. Thank you.